Now, 16 type is always, uh, you know, at least to beginning with, is a bit difficult to sort of get one's head round. And also, as we're going to check, or we're going to, you know, help you check that you've identified your type correctly, uh, let's do a little pit stop with David Kersey. And Kersey comes up with the notion of temperaments, and I'd like to invite you to think of it as sort of families of Myers Briggs types. And Kersey groups four. Uh, creates four families of four types each, which can be summarized in two letters. So you've got SJ, SP, NF, NT. Um, so SJ is obviously the four types that share the letters SJ in a Myers-Briggs view. So ESFJ, ISFJ, ESTJ, ISTJ. And what Kersey, you know, we think of it as sort of clusters. What Kersey suggests is all four types um, have as their really dominant dimensions the S and J, so the concrete, detail-oriented, and the J of the real organization. And not surprisingly, um, uh, Kersey highlights the fact this group has a really strong logistical skill set, and he also calls them the guardians. Uh, you look at the fact that you know, the guardians have a, a, a real core message for group membership and responsibility, etc., etc. I'll let you read in a sec. Um, likewise, SP, uh, so all the four you know, Myers-Briggs types that share the letter S and P are also quite concrete, but P means a lot more flexible, a lot more probing, a lot more looking at option. And so if the SJs are very logistical, the SPs are very tactical, and Kersey calls them the artisans. And then likewise, if we look to NF, uh, the idealists, which are very diplomatic, and the NTs, the rationals, whose main skill set is strategic. Uh, now, don't be skewed too much by the name of each of these four quadrants and by the skill set. What I would invite you to do here is read that. And as we saw a bit earlier, rather than uh, this time, you know, use a pencil and take everything that works uh, for you, is to read each box and sort of hear yourself go, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, no, yep, yeah, no, and sort of listen to the symphony of approval or disapproval that you experience when reading each four of these. Okay. Um, why don't I give you 10 seconds, or actually uh, to take your time, why don't you pause the presentation and we'll resume shortly. Okay, welcome back. Now, you've read all four and you've probably experienced, you know, most people, when I do this training live, what I get usually is there's about half of the people who goes, oh, I'm a blue, or oh, yes, I'm such a red, oh, I'm a yellow, or I'm a green, or, you know, that really, that sort of one box works for them. They can see that within each box, within each cursed temperament, there's four subtypes, so they're not really sure if they're INF or ENF or, you know, INFP, INFJ, but what they know is that, you know, that works for them. And then um, usually about a quarter of people kind of go, I'm torn between two. That's fine, that's fine. All that it means is that your, you know, in Myers-Briggs parlance, it would be that your dichotomies are not massively skewed one way or the other, and you're a bit closer to the middle, that's fine. And then a few people come back and go, I'm really, I'm at least three or maybe four of the boxes. Um, small little um, amusing feedback. Usually people who kind of think they can be all four, it's usually a strong sign of Fness, of the chameleon ability to sort of adjust to one's circumstances, okay? And not uncommonly, um, my experience is in a business context, at least it's usually an F, who can be idealistic, but I've learned not to be too much. They can go rational, they can go a bit more sort of SF and either logistical or tactical. And therefore, when they see these four, they find it really hard to sort of go, who am I? I can be all four within an hour, let alone a day or a week. Um, the uh, SJs, SPs, NTs have usually a slightly stronger, more defined sense of, yeah, that's who I am. I vary, but I can really recognize how the box or the language here captures me in a very essential way. Okay, so Kersey uh, talks about these as temperaments. Um, you could argue, you could summarize that as skill sets, so logistical, tactical, diplomatic, strategic. And uh, we've said it, I'm, I'm going to repeat it many, many, many times. In any organization, you need all of these skill sets. So, you know, every type is equal and everyone is valued. Um, for you as a person, 
important to work out where you fit, or oh, not where you fit, sorry, it's the wrong way to put it, but important to work out which of these is a bit more you, uh, because also that gives you an insight into how different you are from just a random collection of other people and how you know, 25% of people are gonna vibe, have the same temp cursed temperament as you, the other 75% will sort of evolve around different value systems, okay? So, onwards with uh, the journey of uh, self-management.